Hello everyone, Cap here and welcome back to some more Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Let's go this Biomass 3 Hazard 5 on these hard pits with the Interrogator Ew. Driller today. And we will try and create absolute hell. <laughs> we will be going for all weapons. This is actually not that good. Uh, we were going for all weapons that can leave fire on the ground so we would like to yeah set everything on fire and there are four weapons here that i can get on this guy that all have the capability to do so leave fire on the ground um uh, this weapon here at level 18 can get an overclock yeah that creates fire on the ground then there is the incendiary grenade, of course, which doesn't need an overclock. Uh, also, the experimental plasma charger with the um, plasma balls being able to set the fire on ground as well. And the final one would be the Recator Sentinel, it's called. Uh, the flame turret. Uh, after exploding after um, running out of lifetime it will explode and then leave a puddle of fire on the ground all right uh here we are this is one of them though this is the one that we don't need to level so but yeah it's not the best second choice but it's okay we uh, take whatever we can get and yeah let's see how good this is going to be also obviously we will be building for fire and for um, fire damage over time for burn damage so we will be picking up a lot of potency stuff we will be picking up a lot of status effect damage uh, also in the beginning though also reload is not that good uh, let's reroll here okay then <laughs> we need this one for sure I want this potency and status effect damage I would not mind a scanner here either, but it's not uh, necessary for this run. It will help for sure if we could get a Nitra scanner actually, so we can buy all the levels in shop to make sure we get all the weapons that we need to level 18. I'm actually not fully sure because I never pick it. The one on the Krakatoa Sentinel on the flame turret. Is that one level 18 or is that a regular overclock? I'm actually not sure. But we will find out eventually. A bit of armor here. Alright, also let's make sure we get the entire map done. The flyers. I was wondering a lot. Oh, okay, that's a lot of damage. Uh, I was wondering a lot of times why the flyers were always the ones that lived the longest. So if I got two bosses here, maybe one fat boy and one flyer, it was always the flyer that lived longer recently. Um. I'm still not 100% sure why that is, but I think it might be because flyers yeah, go over terrain and then are safe from all sorts of damage. From all sorts of weapons that cannot hit through terrain, which are a lot of weapons, or most of the weapons actually. So maybe that's why they live longer. Mm, yeah, let's reroll once. Get more reload on this. Right. Also, yeah, we are already dealing so much damage with the fire. Bosses don't really last all that long. 
cannot farm XP for too long, but it's okay. Not every run has to be insanely long, so maybe this will be a bit faster than usual, since we will be dealing a lot of damage right from the get-go. Uh, okay, also, we might a plasma charger. We will need to level that one. Oh, <laughs> okay then. Yeah, also we will be going for a lot of status effect damage. Fine, double level on this. Uh, triple split. Put more fire on the ground, of course. I'm already trying to just mine walls for no reason. Also, I'm so used to having a scanner here. For lifetime. Um, very good mining. Let's take that. Potency this, this. One extra beam. More fire. Some armor. Yeah, I don't need that. Lock double level. At this level. But also lock the cheap reload upgrade here. Lifetime. One more. Oh, actually, let's not lock this one and reroll one more time. Okay, then. Lock luck. Or reload on everything. And yeah, that's it. So I'm going to take multiple overclocks this run that I basically have never taken, especially not together. Uh, because usually I don't really care much about these uh, set the ground of fire overclocks, which is the reason why I wanted to do this one. Actually kind of curious to see all that in action once. And I think now... On the interrogator driller, now with this artifact as well, and a lot of status effect damage, and with potency and everything, it's actually going to be strong as well, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we need more levels on this one, we need this one to 18, even though that reload is not necessarily the best there. Gotta make sure I get all the weapon levels that I need. We can't re-roll even once. I don't want this just yet. Let's uh, get some Nitra. Potency. I think the center grenade is already wreaking havoc. With the triple triple split is already very consistent fire. Also wait. How much yeah, 54 burn on this one as well. This one has a lot of potency. Also interesting now that they added the stacks stat on the final end screen. Uh, we can check how these weapons stack up against each other. So which one will be applying the most burn stacks? Actually already got that one. 
And we will be looking for the flame turret, right? This one doesn't uh, put fire on the ground. Uh oh. Okay. There yeah, drops flame turrets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't need to read it. You all know it at this point. <laughs> uh, let's get more luck. Mm. More XP gain. Potency. Potency. Another level here. Still very low. Uh, yeah, let's spread out the levels to make sure we get all weapons up to where they need to be. Also, I'm turning off the regular damage numbers so we can really focus on the uh, burn and numbers, the damage over time numbers. There's an XP scanner, I take that. Some extra levels. And yeah, we <laughs> can just walk away a little bit and mine a little bit, but... Uh, the bosses are already super low. They are just randomly dying behind me from the fire. Okay, I gotta up that XP. Mm. Yeah, one more extreme lifetime here. Alright. We don't really need damage on this. We want a lot of reload, so we can spam. I want it. No! That's the opposite of what I want. <laughs> Still though, uh, doesn't, doesn't hurt. Uh, potency. Actually, we don't really need to level this anymore. Already doing what it's supposed to do. Well then. Was almost a little bit close, but we got it. Um, double level. Oh man, we gain in this. We lock this, I guess. This is also very good. Uh, but we are already so strong. Might not even need to lock it. Let's reroll. Try again. And let's get one in this one. And we also lock the lock here. All right. Picking up pretty much all XP gain. Since we now also have a an XP scanner. Probably going to be worth. Would also even get uh, mining on the flame turret as well. Yeah, I need some pickup radius still, I think. Get one pickup radius. Sure, we get everything. Prepare to fight for your life. Big swarm is approaching. Hmm. Well then, crits. Okay. Um. A burn cannot crit. So the damage over time stuff cannot crit, so this is not all that useful actually. I think I... Oh, fine. They can't get, skip it, I think. It's still doing stuff. Also, it's a legendary. Always feels weird skipping a legendary. Reload on this. Um, 
extra beam. We gotta wait and see if we actually get all the overclocks that we want because there are definitely more choices on some of the weapons and we are not guaranteed to uh, get what we need. That's what I needed, he says. <laughs> yep. Okay, um, the, what we get here? Coupon early on, that's very good. Uh, get more value in the shop. We get that one. Okay, maybe let's not. I'll pick up radius. At some point we should also probably pick up a little bit of HP. Yeah, definitely. Well, I'm noticing the chonking going on of our HP sometimes. <laughs> Especially, uh, I mean, I'm playing a bit greedy every now and then here to pick up some stuff and deliberately basically take damage, but still though. Bit more health. Definitely not bad, especially later on on these 10 stage dice. Start to take a ton of damage from each hit. Also, we deal fire damage over time, and these small roly boys will still hit us regularly. Because they don't die fast enough, probably. Get one good armor. Let's begin. Another level, I guess. Uh, this is uh, would be the best choice, I think, but kind of close, and I want to make sure I get all the levels. Okay, yeah. Give me actually some move speed. I will not be able to take the other two things here. Actually, what am I saying? I was looking at Nitra. That was gold, of course. Uh, let's get double level. If it looks good, it uh, damage. Okay. Knows that. Reload here, I guess. We don't need the... Uh, I mean, this damage also applies to burn, I'm pretty sure. The overclock damage upgrades. Uh, let's get that after all. Also, more luck Yeehaw! and more mining. Now it's my favorite color. More potency. Overclock, my favorite type of More reload. Clock. Okay. We will spend the nitro on the next shop. Okay. And we don't need that crit damage. I don't want to waste gold on that. Crits are not what we are going for. On a status effect uh, build.
Yeah, we are mining nice and fast now. And just run through these sword walls pretty much. Okay. I don't even know what else we really need. I guess. Yeah. Bullet scanner or nitro scanner, obviously. Always good. But other than that, if we need any specific artifact. We already got the status effect and potency arti artifact. So I don't think we need anything else, really. Let's not take damage too much, maybe. <laughs> okay, get through here. Yeah, let, uh, give me one HP. 300 HP now. Uh, better. Hey, okay. I take it. I have the scanner. One more HP. Okay, also with the Nitro Scanner now I'm not too worried anymore about getting enough levels. Because we... And also with the Coupon as well. So we can buy a lot in the shop, right? That should be fine then. one piece. Got it. Okay. Going to die now though. Yeah, I gotta stay here. Let's pick up the XP. like a pretty good run so far and I can't believe that they actually over time managed to make this guy fun and good the interrogator driller I remember a time where it was hot garbage <laughs> it was so bad before the potency upgrade now it's so strong okay anyways we want another beam, of course. We want luck, we want the pickup radius. I don't really need this one. It's a bit expensive as well. More options. This one? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, I don't need the pull, really. I don't think the pull is good, because it's a weak pull. It doesn't really do that much. It's not like it actually sucks in the bugs from, like... Uh, a couple of meters around it or something. It, yeah, it's it's kind of a weak pull. I don't feel like it does much. Uh, let's go damage and reload. Now we're cooking with gas. Beam weapon range. Actually, let's get these two. Yeah, beam weapon range and one reroll. I think. This is smart. What else we got? Okay, then. If it looks good, it shoots better. Turrets explode when they are removed. Do that. 
So there is, yeah, there is an overclock that makes them explode, and then there's an explo uh, overclock that makes them uh, also leave fire after exploding. Uh, on the uh, at level 18, I mean. Okay. Also, this reload is very good, so we can throw more and put more fire on the ground. Also, as a side quest, we can try to get as many weapon levels as we can, maybe. Or see how high we get here. Since we want to level everything, uh, we might as well see how many weapon levels total we get there. I don't care about damage. Let's get this one with damage and another level. It's lower level. Spreading out the levels, so get everything to 18. So the damage increases there on the weapons only work for the direct damage part, not for the burn damage. So on the incendiary grenade just there the 25% extra damage only applies to the initial explosion, not to the fire on the ground. So it doesn't really do all that much for what we are doing here. More luck. Always more luck. Oh, holy horror down there. You can run, but you cannot live. <laughs> once, you are, once you are fully set on fire, you might as well run away, but it doesn't matter. Um, legendary reload. Yeah, sounds good actually. Especially for the, well, for three weapons actually. Three out of these four weapons benefit strongly from reload. The turret, the plasma charger and the incendiary grenade. Alright, what else do we need? No crits. Mm, some XP pickup. This one is so unsatisfying though, because it only collects 50%. I kind of don't like it. Uh, you pick it up and you, then you still see XP lying around after you pick it up. It's uh, very unsatisfying. Could go more damage with the go to bullets, I guess. That damage also applies to burn. I wonder if there will ever be a point again in getting these meta resources. I feel like they should be part of the game again somehow. Kind of weird that the they are here but I literally don't even see them anymore. Because they are 100% useless to me. And I, I'm not even talking about um, introducing more new meta upgrades so you can spend some again, but I mean like making a, them an actual part of a normal run. Like uh, give them some value again. I don't know. Maybe... There it is actually. Add burning zones on the ground. That's what we want. Let's go. And now, yeah, it's fire. Uh, maybe, I don't know. 
I think they also want to introduce something like daily missions or something. Maybe they could be part of some of those. Where you need to collect a certain amount or something. I don't know. I'm no game designer. But some value beyond just meta upgrades. Hmm. Yeah, again, this damage here doesn't apply to the burn part. Uh, let's get lifetime. Also, yeah, Dreadnought is just randomly dying. I don't even... <laughs> I'm not even paying attention to that guy. He's just burning over time. Really? Trying to do this attack against the Driller? Do you know who I am? Did. Come on, pick up radius. They're not really getting everything. I mean, that's the kind of the kind of inherent to this uh, build here. That you don't really get the XP because everything dies behind you from all the fire that you leave behind and also the turrets. Mm, let's get other stuff. Damage is not the best. Okay then. Uh, triple level at 17. Classic. Uh, we go for the reload here. And bigger explosions or insane explosions when we get hit? Let's go insane explosions when we get hit. Now we're cooking with uh, that will definitely set the entire screen on fire. And we reroll here. More pick. Okay, one more insane pickup and this here as well. And uh, that is it for now. Actually, can. Maybe lock this one potency. Also, this is very good, but let's for now focus on the other weapons. Get everything to 18 ASAP. Also a bit crowded right now. Let's get out of here. Get the drop. And let's maybe also not die. Okay then. I will be back. A swarm is heading your way. Load up. Let me stabilize for a moment and heal a bit. Magnet. Hey, another holy horde already. Again, I guess. Hmm, another scanner. Like that. More lifetime that also applies to the puddles on the floor or fire for longer. 
Yeah, I think we take that over the five luck. Yeah, let's get through here and let's not get hit by this guy too much. Also, let's run through here and go get the drop. Fire rate doesn't do anything for us. Fine. I think we pick this one now. I don't know. I don't even know what I would reroll for. We don't need crits. We don't need fire rate. Uh, let's get this one. It's not a reroll right now. And more damage general applies to these global damage upgrades. Also apply to the burn. Yeah. Okay. These they are dead. Get the XP real quick. Level there. That elite never stood a chance. I will see to it there is a beer on the house when you make it back. If okay. you make it back. Also double level at level seventeen. Classic as well. No way. Potency. Uh do we get this? No. We get another level, it's fine. Let's shake it up. Beam weapon range. Legendary. Lock the armor, I think. Day. One more reroll. Can we get something else? Nope. Try again. Okay, this here. I've been dreaming of something like this. Hmm. Nah, let's reroll. Also, move speed though. That's fine. We don't need to be too fast. Really? <laughs> Get double level again. Okay, we go for damage here. Screw you. A, a dripping balls. A dripping hot plasma sets the ground on fire. Here we are. Okay. Only turret missing. Double level and okay. One more level and then we are done there as well. All right. Uh, I don't need to lock this. It's fine. Uh, let us go one more level. Um, I th I'm pretty sure though on the turret there are three unstable overclocks, so it's not guaranteed that we get the one that sets the ground on fire. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we are lucky enough to also get that one. But this is already now uh, with the plasma balls as well. That's creating a lot of fire. Also, how much actually? Hey, what? Huh? Game? You are level 18, I just... Am I dreaming? What? Where's my overclock? <laughs> what? Hello? <laughs> I, I'm so confused right now. It is setting the ground on fire though, right? The, uh, the plasma bolts? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Frames. Uh, that's bugged, I guess. Doesn't show that I have picked a level 18 unstable overclock there. Hmm. Just running through these walls gives us such consistent XP now with double XP scanner.
Okay, here we go. Hey, we get we did it. Uh, explode on death, leaving a puddle of fire. Let's go. Four weapons, leaving fire on the ground. I think this is actually the only configuration. So only these four weapons and only with these overclocks. Nice, we actually did it. Full fire on ground build. Also we have the faster reload on the flame turret and less lifetime so they explode more often basically. What damage here. Okay, um, can we get the drop? Also all this XP here behind us. Mm, more potency. Yeah, we should probably... Let's actually just try and get as strong as possible and kill everything as fast as pos uh, possible at this point. So go for more XP and more damage and everything. Uh, go for more potency and more damage and everything, I mean. Also, gold scanner, I guess. Kind of late, but I take it. Good HP. They're kind of squishy. Alright, right. Yep. It's a lot of fire. That elite never stood a chance. I will see to it there is a beer on the house when you make it back. If you make it back. I just realized beam weapon range creates more fire on the ground, right? More beam weapon range on this because the circle is getting bigger. And the bigger the circle, the more fire. Oh. Maybe we should also pick up more beam weapon range. I can't get enough of this rare stuff. Or lifetime, so the fire is there for longer. Let's get the armor. Reroll. Let's shake it up. Potency, beam weapon range on this. Potency on this. Actually, does the potency... Where's my overclock? <laughs> I wanted to see how much fire this actually applies. Uh, I don't know. 90 slow. Does it now also apply 90 fire? Probably. Maybe. And if we pick this, will it also deal more fire damage? It should. But you don't know because it doesn't show. Uh, Reroll. Beam weapon range on this. Insane. Damage. One reroll. Let's oh, I lock that one. And I lock that one. And more potency yes, and reload. Okay, good upgrades here. Yeah, this one. Already have 322% status effect damage. Get to work. There's aliens to be killed and gold to be mined. We are getting very strong now. Also, at some point, we need to find a nice open spot and actually see how much we set on fire all at once. Also, yeah, just casual like 6, 10k, 12k, 14k damage <laughs> per burn tick on that fat boy just there. Burn ticks are already getting crazy high. 14k with each tick is uh, pretty insane. Just lit up 
supply pod to land. Do something. Reload. How much reload do we have? Shooting once every uh, 0 0.92 seconds. No. Nice. As my ball spam. Also, when <laughs> when we get hit, uh, because of the feedback harness on the incendiary grenade, obviously, at the, uh, at the latest. But the very least then is when everything is on fire. We could get multi-levels. Uh, quite a lot. Let's do that. Beam weapon range. Fine. Damage on this. Uh, more luck. Get a couple of more levels. Satisfact damage. Potency on this. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Actually, wait. Um, well, I kind of want more fire on this. I think this does more. Mm. Alright. Alright, I already forgot again about our getting max weapon level thingy. That's fine. We still get a lot of levels overall. But I'm not forcing it. Uh, I wa just want to be as strong as possible. That's my actual goal now. I just want to delete everything as hard as possible. With as much burn as possible. Maybe get an insane burn stack on the final boss. See how high we can get that. Think too get uh, too good here. Think too great. Okay, can't mind that anymore. I think let's get out of here. Don't want to miss my exit. Weapon range, luck. Beam weapon range, okay. We have a lot on this one now. One got movement speed. More potency on this. Fire. Potency and damage, insane. Reload on this. And I guess we're done here. I don't even need to lock these, that's fine. We are... Oh. <laughs> the walls die too fast. I was about to surf on the walls. You can fall out of the uh, drop there. Drop pod at the start of the stage and then be on top of the walls and run around. But I mine too fast. Oh, good loot bag. Uh, can we get that one? Yep. Actual war zone here. All the bugs insta burned. Even the small bugs deal like 60 damage to us at this point. Lifetime. I don't pick this anymore, it's too late now. Switch 9. Won't get value out of that anymore. A lot of mushrooms here, nice. too slow this helps for sure with damage and everything but i don't really want to do that i like to run around more uh let's just get the life i think it's fine 
Red goggles uh, again wouldn't be good here. Because we. This is actually the one build where crit goggles are 100% bad. Um, interrogator driller in general. When you go for. Satisfact damage. Crit goggles are not good. Since the Satisfact cannot crit. Then you just uh, lose 30% damage for no reason. I need more mushrooms. That's effect damage. Thing just burns. Find me. You achieved your objective in a record time. Objective completed, minor. Get to the drop pod before it heads back to orbit. Yeah, this feels great. Just uh, no worry in the world about uh, getting damaged in anywhere or something. Everything just dies by itself. I don't need to pay attention to anything. <laughs> I just need to uh, dodge the bugs a little bit. And that is all that I have to do here. Uh, let's go for a reload on these, I guess. And even that, sometimes they are frozen here due to the holes on the experimental plasma charger. Still doesn't show. Yeah, I don't know. Um, beam weapon range on this, reload on this, Bingo. roll, uh, actually the potency, the more potency, beam weapon range, potency, reload, we are poor, even more reload on this, how fast, 0 0.76 now, pretty good. Uh, fine. Try again. Nah. Next. Lifetime Don't damage. Okay, we're done here. I save the rest for rerolls on the stage, I guess. Okay, final stage. Let's set everything on fire. Let's see how this goes. I don't want to create an open space here somewhere. And stand still for a bit. See how much fire we can put down. Well then, I mean, when feedback harness triggers, that is a lot. Get more potency on this, on everything. But actually, not on everything. I think that didn't apply to the plasma charger, because it doesn't have the fire tag. Also, what's with the sound? I feel like when there's too too many explosions and too much fire, the sound uh, doesn't like it. Final artifact. Also, how much burn? I couldn't see. I feel like there was a big number there. I feel like I saw 55k, but I'm not sure that's possible. That small bug there. Um, yeah, I don't need this. Let's reroll. Uh, more fire rate reload when we stand still. Fire rate doesn't do anything, but reload though. 
We can throw even more when we stand still. I guess we do that. Okay, let me create enough open space here. More potency. Alright then. <laughs> Look at this big circle also. This is my circle of trust. If you can get in, we are going to be friends. Also look, 69, oh, 90, I think that was 90k. 90 something k, 91k or something on that one. Okay then. <laughs> okay, we actually deal very good fire damage. I just wait here for the boss. I want the boss to come in here. And get uh, all of this applied. Okay, come here. Let's see the numbers on the boss. Wow, how much is that? 100, 200, over 200, 220 k. <laughs> 220,000 burn tick. Did you see that? <laughs> Noise. Yeah, I can just stand still here, man. Look at the ticks. Again, like over 100 something K. Hard to see, but... Oh, this is so strong. There's so much damage. Alright, now I'm curious uh, about the stacks. Which weapon did the most here? Fireworks to celebrate us leaving here. GG. And. Ooh. Krakatoa. 5 point, almost 6 million. Oh, huh. and this one 3, and these two, yeah, a lot less. Also, uh, this one, part of these are cryo stacks. So it's not all burn here. So this one didn't do all that much. Probably like less than half because we got cryo first. Less than half of this is from burn. Then yeah, 1.3 from this. This was pretty good as expected, but damn. Rekatoa though. Uh, I guess, yeah, because the regular attacks apply burn and then also the explosions when at least fire on the ground. Interesting. I didn't expect this to be so strong. I, I thought the incendiary grenade would be better for burn stacks. Huh. Okay then. Rekatoa OP. Alright. G uh, G's. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.